All right, so welcome everyone. So amazing to see you all. A special welcome to all of our regulars that have been attending for so many months now. So good to see you all. Also, a very special welcome to all of our BellyFit trainees and instructors all over the world joining us today. And an extra special welcome to anybody that is here for the very first time today. My name is Alice Bracegirdle. I'm the CEO of BellyFit Enterprises, and I have my tech team helping me out here today. And today is the Invoking Peace routine. And as many of you saw, this is in honor of so many um, momentous days that we're celebrating. For me, most primarily is the summer solstice that just passed. And so we are going to invoke peace and ease and flow into our bodies, into our lives. We're going to release conflict, bring in clarity, and have an awesome workout. So as always, most importantly, listen to your body, do what feels good for you today. This routine is very in place, so there's not a lot of forward and back or side to side motion. So if you have a small space, you're really gonna appreciate that. And I need you to choose a level of intensity and impact that works for you today, all right? And especially if this is your first class or if you've only been to a few, with regards to the choreography, focus on your feet first and then add the layers of movement on top. And if at any point you get confused by the choreography, just go back to those feet, add the arms whenever you feel comfortable, all right? So let's get started. Go ahead and place your feet hip width apart. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into our opening meditation. So as always with our opening meditation, please feel free to close your eyes. My words will guide you through the next few moments arriving into your body. And I want to invite you to be the witness. Be the witness of your body, be the witness of your life, of the choices that you're making. Where is there conflict in your experience? And can we today release even just a little bit of that conflict? Can we invoke, can we invite more peace, more love, more compassion into our experience? And today we're working with gratitude, patience, and mercy as we welcome more balance into our world. Feel your feet connected to the earth below you, supporting you strong and stable. And as you start to scan the body from root to crown, notice any areas that you're gripping or clenching. Can you soften? Can you allow ease into those spaces? Can you welcome more peace into your joints? into your blood, into your organs, your flesh, into your breath. Knees are soft, pelvis is neutral, slight engagement through the abdominals. Standing up nice and tall in your beautiful sacred vessel, your body. And let's take an inhale as we roll the shoulders up towards the ears, exhale, slide them way down the back, Turn your palms forward so your fingertips are draping easily towards the earth. Opening up through the heart, but maintaining strength in your core, tucking your chin. And we'll take a deep inhale as we sweep the arms up over the head, bring the palms together and slide them down in front of the heart. Feel that connection between your palms. Anjali Mudra, divine communion, connecting right and left hemispheres of the brain masculine and feminine. Let's take another inhale through the nose. 
As we exhale, slide the hands down to the belly, thumbs tucking into the belly button, index fingers down and together, baby fingers spread wide, sending positive, peaceful vibrations into your beautiful belly and taking three belly breaths, inhaling, releasing, exhaling, contracting. Again, inhale, soften, exhale, contract. One more time, inhale, release, exhale, contract. Let's do our lotus lifts. Inhale, soften, relaxing the pelvic floor, exhaling up and in. Again, inhaling, softening, exhaling, contracting. One more time, opening the eyes, inhaling the arms up, exhaling, gathering chi, energy into the body. That's it, reverse prayer. One more time, inhale, gather, exhale, press the palms together, bend the knees, ready for hip thrusts. Here we go. Inner thigh, nice and strong. DJ, can I get just a little bit more volume on that music? So we're squeezing through the glutes, inner thigh, feet staying connected, knees soft. Let's take it up to tempo. Nice, ladies, looking good. Elbows up, shoulders down. Abs slightly engaged. Keep it connected for four, three, two. Let's add some arms. Inhale up. Exhale, use your breath to bring you deeper into your body. Two more here. Inhale and exhale. One more, breathe. All right, march it out for me. So remember, choose your level of intensity and impact and layers of movement. Make it work for you today. Most importantly, we're gonna have fun. Have a great workout. All right, first move, pelvic tuck. We're tucking up and down. So I'm really activating through my deep transverse abdominis here in my pelvic floor. So lotus lift as I tuck. We're just gonna keep the hands on the hips for this first move. And then let's take it into a full circle. Circle. That's it, pelvic circles. You're gonna see this again in our cardio section. Let's change direction. Squeeze through those abdominals. Wake up your core this morning. Let's do one more set. Use those deep abs. Change direction. Breathe. Keep the heart lifted. All right, now figure eights, nice and slow. I know it's getting hot for a lot of us here in the Northern Hemisphere, so we don't wanna overheat today. Mindful of our temperature. All right, so jhana mudra, I'm gonna actually tuck my index finger in underneath my thumb. Mudra for wisdom. That's it, relax it down towards the earth. Give me one more full set here, waking up the side of the body. Breathe. Two more. All right, give me a step tap right here. Step tap. That's it. So let's take that jhana mudra again, curling the index finger under the thumb, the rest of the fingers together, and let's cross it in front abs strong and start to twist into it. Keep the shoulders back and the heart lifted. Press your wrists together. Create a little bit of resistance there. That's it, really squeeze the index finger down with the thumb. Give me one more full set. Keep going, keep going. That's it ladies, moving from your core. Activating your deep center. Radiating out. Beautiful. All right, next move, all together, looks like this. Reach. So I'm reaching across, and an elbow jab out to the side with a gentle fist. Nice, ladies. Give me one more, full set. Start to bend into it a little bit more. There we go. Keep that heart radiating forward. Last one here. All right, march it out for me. So as you march, I want you to bring a little bit of a booty shake. So some might call this a three-quarter shimmy. 
pretty complicated belly dance move. So all I want you to do is just focus on shaking that booty. And again, Jhana Mudra for wisdom. It takes a lot of wisdom to create peace. That's it. Just shake it out. All right, first move, goddess pose. Knees nice and wide. Don't forget that lotus lift, kegel exercise, pelvic floor lifted up and in. Nice. Spine tall, jhana mudra again. So we're going out and up, out and up. Beautiful. Keep those knees wide, relax the shoulders. We're gonna change the sun up just a little bit. So we're gonna hold low for two. Stay low. Nice, ladies. Four. We'll call this welcome wisdom. All right, give me a step top right here. You're gonna hold this shield in front. That's it, relax the shoulders. And then again, we're gonna tap and sweep across. Elbow jab. Four, three, two more. Twist it out, find strength again for me. For four, three, two, tap and sweep. That's all it is, twist it out. Four, three, two, tap and sweep, find strength. All right, back to that three-quarter shimmy. You gotta kinda really let it go and relax in this one. Think of your butt cheeks just kinda wobbling as you march. We'll call this find your path, your personal path. Path of peace, arms are gonna go up and down. Breathe however it feels natural for you. That's it. Walk your path. Nice, give me a step hip right here, step hip. Remember, feet first, then adding the hips and the arms. Arms are nice and easy. You can even hold that jhana mudra if you want. All right, now two hips and a drop, we're going step hip, step hip, step hip, drop. Nice, you guys. Keep that core strong. Try not to lean back at all, stay tall. All right, check it out, figure eight. So you can release the mudra, almost like you're holding your head in place. There's no wrong way to do this. Wake up the side of your body. Take it back to that step hip right here. Drop, again. Now figure eight. Beautiful, we're gonna break that one in half. Step hip right here. Now drop, now figure eight for four. Self-reversing move, step hip right here. And drop, figure eight. We'll call this stay calm and focus, one more set. And drop, figure eight. You're getting it ladies. Stay calm and focus. All right, give me easy hop side to side. Whew. We'll call this let it go. Let it go, whatever conflict you're holding on to. Can you let it go? Take that same hand gesture. We're gonna change the rhythm just a bit. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. That's all it is, let it go. Relax your body. All right, ready to go from the top? You know it, welcome wisdom. Again, I've got my index finger curled under my thumb. Goddess pose, knees are wide. Find strength, twist it out. Squeeze and reach, bring it in. Twist it out, again. That's it, stay tall, gather it in. Three quarter shimmy. Walk your path, breathe.
stay calm and focus. Hip drop, figure eight for four. One, two, three, do it again. You know it. Ready to let it go, here we go. One, two, three. Looking good, ladies. Still just getting warmed up. All right, next move, lunge back. Find your alignment. Tiny little pulse, knee directly over the ankle. Step center and switch. That's it, feet about hip width apart, abs up and in, pelvic floor strong. Step center, we're gonna change this up a little bit. Option to top forward. Right, stay grounded, step center, and switch. Only go as low as you feel comfortable. You might be just tapping back like this, that's awesome. Step center, we're gonna add option to bring the knee right up and twist. Step center, other side. Don't worry, you'll get it. You can still just tap, remember. Let's do one more set. This is called, this hand gesture, the shield of Shambhala. For peace, find your balance. Press across, welcome the warrior. Next move, looks like this. Easy march, that's your first level. I'm getting hot already. Yesterday it was like 27 degrees here and it's supposed to be hotter today. And it's not even 9 a.m. yet. So we're gonna keep it low. We're gonna go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So if you're in air conditioning, or you got lots of energy today, you can add a jog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, give me a squat right here. Squat down and up. Get the alignment. Warming up the back of the hips, knees even more. Only go as low as you feel comfortable. Abs up and in. Nice, we're gonna change this one just a little bit. So we're going up and down, up and down. We'll call this release conflict. Use your breath, ladies. All right, so little change with this one. We're gonna go up and down. Last one here, third eye. So it's three down. And on the fourth, we're gonna land on the third eye. Next move, pelvic circles. Bring your feet in if you need to. Belly dancers, eat your heart out. Hold that shield of Shambhala. Yes, for four, three, two, change direction. Remember, there's no wrong way to do this. We're just getting our hips going. Change direction for four. Press the fist and the palm together. Switch it up. Next move, right here, step touch. Nice and easy. Can I get just a little bit of a, a little bit of a bop, a little bit of a funky bop? Yes, that's it. We're just gonna call this celebrate. You can do whatever you want with your arms. I really don't care. Make it feel good, dance it out. Yes, I see you for four and three. Shake it loose. Ready to welcome the warrior? Lunge back, here we go. Center and switch. Cut through the chaos, march or jog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. You got it, ladies. Breathe. All right, release conflict. Inhale, exhale. Press that booty way back. Center, again. Invoke peace within. Four, three, two, and switch. So many hand gestures to choose from. And switch again for four, three, two, and switch. Ready to celebrate side to side. 
Yes, you got it. Maybe it's a fist, maybe it's an open palm. Yes, ladies, looking good. All right, from the top, welcome wisdom. Here we go. You know it. Any instructors in the house today or trainees? All of our crew, I'm using the Be Happy mix today. That's it. Stay grounded. Stay present. Four, three, two more. Ready to invoke strength. Here we go. Gather it in. Breathe however it feels natural to charge up the movement or to release energy. Walk your path, stay center. That's it, ladies, shake it out. Stay calm and focused, step hip. Drop, you remember. Do it again. Let it go, side to side. One, two, three. That's it, ladies. Let it go. Whatever it is. Ready to welcome the warrior? Lunge back. Remember, you can just tap. Make it work for you. Step center and switch. Stay grounded. Cut through the chaos. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Maybe you're marching. That's awesome. In fact, I think I'll stay here for a second so I don't overheat. Release conflict. To the third eye. Again, yes, gratitude, patience, and mercy. Invoke peace within. Switch, don't forget that lotus lift. Kegel, pelvic floor exercise, up and in. And switch. Celebrate with me. Give me a little freestyle, ladies. You know all the moves now. Take it around your space. Clearing the energy of conflict. Bringing in resolution. Clarity. Balance. Peace. If only it were so easy. All right, walk to your water and have a quick little sip. We're gonna keep rolling. Yes, you know it. Welcome wisdom. If we want peace, we need to be wise. And strong. You know it. Be intentional about every movement you make. And walk your path with grace and gratitude for all the peace that we already have. Stay calm and focus. You know it, other side. Now let it go. Remember, you can keep this super low. It's your body. Make it work for you. Ready to invoke the warrior. The shield of Shambhala. Keep going on this side, super set. Press against the fist and the palm. That's it, ladies, use your deep core. Step back to center, other side, you got this. Stay here, stay here. 
Beautiful, you guys. Looking good. Cut through the chaos. You know it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add that jog if you want, ladies. Go for it. Yes. Ready to release conflict. Squat. Wood chopper. Let's add a ha. 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 Center. You know it. We're four. Invoke peace within. Sounds like a cliche, but it has to start within ourselves and radiate out. Reducing conflict within our own being starts with our mind and our body. And we celebrate. That's something to celebrate. Yes. From here on in, take breaks when you need it. Welcome wisdom, ladies. You are wisdom incarnate. Divine feminine wisdom. Yes. Strong. Gather it in. Everything you need to create peace in your life. And walk your path. Doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. Find peace within your being and on your path and everyone around you will benefit from that. Stay calm and focus. You know it. Looking good, ladies. Let it go. If it feels awkward to hold Jhana Mudra, then just release the hands. You decide. Ready, warriors? Lunge back. Step center and switch. Getting that right and left brain working center. Cut through the chaos. Remember, you do not have to jog it. You can walk it. Release conflicts. Center, let me hear you. Ha! 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 Invoke peace within. Do you want to dance and be happy? I do. I know you do too. All right, ladies, celebrate. You know it. Maybe take it around your space. Maybe full freestyle, whatever your body wants right now. Keep going, keep going. Another full 32. Clap it out if you want, clear the energy. Yes, beautiful. Stay right here for me, right here. Just give me a little heel drop. Visualize stress and tension melting, evaporating from your body. Take your feet wide, as fast or as slow as you want. Do whatever you want with your arms. Shake it out, shake it loose and let it go. Slow it down. Welcome wisdom. Keep the arms over the head. Hold here, tiny pulse, shoulders down. Yes, ladies, beautiful. For four, three, ready for strength? Here we go. Gather everything you need. It's all available to you. Go within first. Walk your path, releasing envy, jealousy, anything that holds you back from focusing on what you truly desire. That's it, again. 
stay calm, focus. <laughs> Tell myself the same thing. Do you want to dance and be happy? Yes, I do. Ready to welcome the warrior. Lunge back, you know it. <sighs> Stay low. Remember, you can tap. That's an awesome option. Stay here, keep going, keep going. <sighs> Center and switch. Try not to let momentum take you out of alignment. <sighs> Stay here, stay here, keep going. Looking good, ladies, beautiful alignment. <laughs> Step center, cut through the chaos. We go, hold on, two, three, four. That's it. Let's add voice right away. Ha, 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 center, breathe, again. Ha, ha. Ha, center, invoke peace within for four, three, yes. Feel the energy flowing in your body right now. Fully present, fully conscious, fully awake. Celebrate, you know it. Take a break when you need it. From the top, welcome wisdom. Looking good, ladies. Beautiful energy today, as always. Twist it out. Gather it in. Do it again. Stay in your core. You know it now, ladies. Walk your path. Breathe with me. Stay calm, focus. Feel the sensations in your body right now. Tune in. And let it go. I knew this mix would be perfect for this routine. Welcome, Warrior. A little change. Hold center. Down and up. Ironically, sometimes to attain peace, there needs to be a bit of conflict. Our inner warrior needs to step forward often. Take it across. Yes, ladies, you're moving now. Keep going, keep going. Four, three, two more. March it out, no knee this time. So just stay here or jog it. You got the energy. Palms together. Keep going, keep going. Yes, ready to release conflict? Let me hear you. Let's try a no. No, center, do it again. No, 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 center, bring it within. Invoke peace within and switch. Sometimes you gotta say no to get to peace. And hopefully, eventually, you get to celebrate. Yes, from the top we go. You know it now. We're almost there, ladies, stay with me. Modify your output to suit your energy level. What a concept. And find strength within, even if it's just 
a little nugget of strength. If you're alive, you've got strength within you. Walk your path, just let the arms go. That's it, ladies, yes. Beautiful. Woo! Stay calm and focused, you know it. Let it go. Easier said than done. Ready, warriors? Lunge back. Step center and switch. Cut through chaos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe, exhale as the knee comes up. Release conflict. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, back to center and switch. Find peace within. You know it. DJ, is this our cool down track? Oh, thanks. That's good, because I'm sweating buckets. <laughs> Celebrate one last time with me, ladies. Believe it or not, we hold a lot of tension in our hands, so I want you to really shake your hands, let your wrists go. Yes, beautiful. All right, to our cool down now. Let's walk our path one last time together. Together. Hands on the hips, or even better, hands on the belly. That's it. Feel into your center your beautiful, vital, creative center, and gather. That's it, keep the heart open, resist the temptation to fold into your bra line. Radiate your heart up and out. Keep going with this one, one more full set. I wanna feel your heart beaming towards me, right through cyberspace and out the screen smacking me right in my chest and hold center that's it you can take that jhana mudra again if you want index finger under the thumb and four three let's hold this shield across figure eights yes see if you can do this with your heels on the ground Drawing that beautiful fluid figure eight. Nice, ladies. And pelvic circle slow. Breathe with me. Change direction for four. Let me see intention, energy in your hands. And back to center and release. Exhale, bring it in. Shake it out. Keep going with the shake, keep going. So challenging to stay soft, to stay open, to allow ourselves to relax in the current climate of conflict that we exist in is a challenge, a daily awareness to choose peace to choose to remain open, to listen, to speak our truth. Four, three, two. Feet in, tuck with me, tuck. Center, so from the side, it looks like this. I'm connecting to my deep core. My glutes are soft, but activating just a little bit. Four more. Think of this as a standing core exercise. You can place your hands on your belly. Two more. And then we'll take it into pelvic circles. Four, three, two, change direction. 
Gorgeous, ladies. Do it again. Four, three, two, and switch for four, three. Let's change it two and two in each direction. Breathe. Notice what resistance comes up. Can you invoke peace within? Total acceptance of your ability. Wherever you're at right now is perfect. Let that radiate out. And shake it out one more time. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale up. Exhale, and let's shake it through all the way up. In the heart, from the belly to the heart, the two places that we hold the most trauma, the most conflict in our flesh, the issues in our tissues must be released. Roll the shoulders back. Place your feet wherever it feels the most stable for you. Feel your feet on the earth. Earth showers, we inhale the arms up through the center of the body, assimilating, integrating. Gratitude, patience, mercy. Again, inhale up the center of the body, exhale, let it go. Gratitude, patience, and mercy for ourselves and even those whom we perceive to be our enemies. Pause here. Let yourself be seen, let yourself be heard, let yourself be open to the possibility of peace. First within and then radiating out to everyone that you come in contact with. Inhale and gather the resilience that you need to make that happen, the self-awareness, and most importantly, as my dear friend Monique Gray Smith says, love is the best medicine that we have right now. Feel it in your heart, for yourself, for all the women moving with us today, breathing with us today, fully present. You embody wisdom and peace. Quickly and quietly, please take your shoes off and grab your mats. Come on down to the floor into wisdom pose, also known as child's pose. Rest wherever you're at. If you don't want to bend your knees completely, that's perfectly fine. Make this pose work for you. You might be up on your elbows, that's great. We don't believe in the no pain, no gain philosophy. In this belly fit realm, it's all about pleasure, making it feel good. So come on up onto all fours, tabletop position when you're ready, wrist directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips. Bring your awareness to your pelvic floor and a gentle lotus lift to start this movement, the exact same movement that we did standing pelvic circles. So you're drawing a circle with your tailbone Engaging deep core muscles, maybe even feeling through transverse abdominis, rectus abdominis, obliques, low back. Make it as big or as small as your body will allow. Breathe however it feels natural for you. Uncoiling your sacred shakti, inviting it to rise. Let's change direction. Breathe however it feels natural for you. 
Maybe moving with that beat, visualizing your bones, your joints, everything coming into its perfect optimal alignment for energy to flow and for your body to function. Let's do four more here. You are strong, you are healthy, you are stable. Come on back to center, take the knees wide. Either sink right back if your knees will allow or stay high. Breathe, inhale with me. Exhale, let it go, soften your pelvic floor, relax your belly. Come on back up, let's take it up a notch. So you're gonna come into an elbow plank. First level, knees are on the floor. Now if you know that you've got any issues in your deep core, your organs, this is actually a really intense exercise, any way you look at it. So you might even wanna just come down. Maybe you wanna just hang out here. That's also an option. Now if you're feeling strong and stable today and you wanna come up a little bit higher, I want your pelvic floor contracted, your ribs pulling towards your hips, squeezing through your core and pressing your elbows into the mat. Hold and breathe for eight, seven. You got it, ladies. Feel your shoulders stabilizing, your whole body contracting for four, three, two more. Awesome work. Come down, full prostration, belly and heart to the earth, palms over your head. Come on back up. So, you can come back to wherever you were, you can take it up one notch, or you can come into a full plank. Progressing, press your heels away. You might even be up on your palms, but your knees to the floor, that's a great option as well. I know a lot of us resist working our full body, arms, shoulders. We have so many things going on. To feel strong in your body will give you more power, feel you more empowered to create peace. Hold and breathe. Don't forget that lotus lift, you got this. Holding for eight, seven, six, Five, nice alignment, ladies, beautiful. Lower down to your knees first, and then all the way down. Full prostration, belly and heart to the earth. Giving thanks. Breathe, four, three. Coming back up. I know, you can do it. Okay, so you can come back to the first one we were at progressing up, maybe you're here. Now we're gonna come into a side plank. So everyone with knees down, and then take your elbow and just rest your hip and your elbow to the earth, facing towards the screen. First level, I'm coming up with my knees bent, my elbow is straight down from the shoulder. So bring it into your body, closer to your body. Yes, make sure you feel really supported. Option arms up. Leg can extend and rest on the ground or lift up. Hold and breathe. Yes, ladies, feel the underside of your body working. Remember, you don't have to do side plank if your elbow or your shoulder doesn't like this. We're holding, you can do it for eight, seven. Feel your inner strength. Four, three, two. Awesome work, bring it down. Make your way back to your belly and full prostration. Patience, gratitude, and grace. Mercy for yourself and everyone that you come in contact with. Come on back up. Come to the opposite side. Make sure, again, that that elbow is right underneath you. Really important to have that stable, aligned base. So usually it's too far out and we wanna bring it in underneath us. Almost like it feels even, it might feel a little bit too far in. Okay, so first level, lift up the hips. Check your head, you want it to be following the line of your spine. That's it. Option to lift that leg, press that bottom knee into the earth and hold. 
Nice ladies, modifies you need two. We've got eight, seven, four, three, two. Lower down, full prostration. You know it. Coming back up. Press yourself up, flip on to your boote. Arms in behind. Let's get a little bit more core targeted here. I'm gonna bring the legs up. I'm supporting myself a little bit with my arms here. And I'm simply gonna go out and in, and out and in. Exhale to bring the legs back in. Inhale, exhale. Point your toes, make it fully intentional. We got eight more, ladies, you can do it. Notice my upper body is not moving. It's just my legs, just the legs. Upper body is not moving, just the legs, yes. Nice, ladies, that's it, you got it, two more. Inhale, exhale, last one, bring it in. Feet to the earth. Soles of the feet together, sit tall. Stay here, breathe. And gently, with the feet pressed away from the body, let yourself fold forward. This is one of my favorite stretches. And we wanna feel this in the sacrum, so low back. Fun fact, the sacrum, named after the word sacred, the source of our Shakti, sacred feminine, they say, lives at the base of the spine. Where there are blockages, there is conflict and resistance. When the energy flows, we have wisdom and peace. We want to start with our body, inviting, allowing energy to flow. Our body will tell us where the energy is blocked. It will show up in symptoms. And no pill or potion is going to take those symptoms away. What those pills and potions might do, if we're lucky, is help us see a little bit more clearly what that symptom is telling us. It may reduce some of the resistance and the conflict so that we can see more clearly, so that we can relax and soften into that wisdom and let the body speak even more clearly. What we don't want to do is suppress and silence that wisdom. What we don't want to do is suppress and silence the truth. One more big breath in. And roll up when you're ready on the exhale. Take your right leg in front of your left. Grab the flesh back from your sits bones. Flex both of your ankles. So you can stay in this nice, easy cross-leg position. If you're feeling a little bit more limber today and you wanna go deeper into the glutes and hips after all those lunges and squats, you can flex the front ankle and bring it up. If you do that and you notice that your leg is here, then this isn't gonna do much for you and I would recommend that you take that foot back down. If you come here and you can sort of get that knee down comfortably, remember, we're not forcing our body here. We're being peaceful with our bodies, gentle compassion, loving gratitude. The body is boss any way you look at it. It is the voice of our most connected self. Allow the body to speak to you and you are allowing your deepest wisdom to speak to you. Wherever you're at in this pose, if it feels appropriate to fold forward, please be my guest. You can take your hands to the side.
non-harming, gentle, And if it feels like something you want to do right now, you can walk your hands maybe over to the side, just changing the anatomical focus a little bit. And maybe you even want to take a side bend. Please listen to your body. I'm doing the same. Rotate back down towards the earth. Walk your hands across to center. Take a big inhale. Keep the top ankle flexed as you come up. Take both legs out in front for me. Take your hands behind and just give me a little shaky shake. Relax your jaw and come to the other side. Sit up tall. Flex the front ankle. If you brought the leg up on the other side, you might want to try that on this side. And we're not always the same on each side. So this side may feel comfortable and the other side didn't, or this one might not feel comfortable and the other side did. Try and keep it as balanced as possible, continuing to listen to your body. Whew. Soften your jaw, soften your forehead. As we rest here in this pose, let's all make a vow to ourselves and to each other that the very next time that we feel the impulse to attack, to create conflict, to resist where we maybe don't need to. Sometimes we need to, sometimes we don't. But if we can take a pause, if we can commit to taking a pause, just as we feel that impulse to lash out, take a deep breath, stay present in our body and what are we truly feeling? And what we'll often find is that underneath the anger and the rage is sadness. And when we get to the sadness, that's when we can reach peace. Walk over to the side if it feels comfortable. In the acknowledgement and the feeling of the sadness, we allow ourselves to feel what needs to be felt. And what we allow to be felt, we allow to heal. Create space create a pause and then respond grounded in the truth of your body and your being. Roll up. Extend the legs out. Pull the toes back towards the body. Give me another little shake. Come back to a comfortable seated position. And we'll finish with our two hand gestures. So jhana, we take the index finger and curl it underneath the thumb. The rest of the fingers are extended. This is our hand gesture for wisdom. So much wisdom needed right now to guide us where we all need to be towards peace and healing. recognizing that inner child that just wants to be heard and seen, that wants to express and belong, and most importantly, wants to feel safe. One more deep breath. Exhale, bring the palms together in front of your heart. Make a fist with your right hand and press it into the palm of your left hand. The shield of Shambhala for peace, integrity, and mercy. Take three breaths with me in through the nose. 
and exhale, releasing conflict. Inhale. Exhale, releasing rage. Inhale. Exhale, releasing anger. Bring the palms together. One more deep inhale as you reach the arms up over the head. Exhale, release arms out to the side. And inhale, gather all the way back up. And rest in the heart. Namaste, Peace Warriors. Amazing work, ladies. Thank you so much. That was epic, amazing, beautiful. Such an honor to move and breathe and invoke peace with you all. Massive gratitude to all my trainees and instructors sharing this movement around the world, all my regulars joining every week. And anyone new today, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful, peaceful day, and I will see you all next week.